Because of how incomplete, arbitrary and lacking in context the Quran is, due to it being badly composed, the early Muslims were forced to travel and write down any information they could find about Muhammad and his life in order to interpret the Quran properly. This process gave rise to the earliest biography of Muhammad and also what is known as the Hadith. There are many Hadith collectors but the person that Sunni Muslims consider to be the most reliable of these Hadith collectors is called Muhammad al-Bukhari. His nine volume Hadith collection is known unsurprisingly as Sahih al-Bukhari. The word Sahih means authentic. Sahih al-Bukhari Hadith are second only to the Quran in terms of their religious value and importance to Sunni Muslims. Muslims frequently quote from al-Bukhari, but they only seem to quote hadiths that make Islam sound like a really nice religion. Sahih al-Bukhari, however, reveals a much darker side to Muhammad and Islam, which understandably Muslims want to ignore and not deal with because these darker hadiths evidently prove Islam to be man-made and just another religion. So I thought, why not make this darker side of Islam more available by making each hadith into a visible story. This way you can easily visualize the kind of man Muhammad really was. The hadith that I will animate in this video is from Sahih al-Bukhari, Volume 1, Book 6 and Hadith number 301. Go check it for yourself so you know that I'm not lying and making this up. This is truly in your own books. O oh women, give alms as I have seen that the majority of the dwellers of hell are women. Why is it so, O oh Rasulullah? You curse frequently and are ungrateful to your husbands. I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence and religion than you. A cautious, sensible man could be led astray by some of you. O oh Rasulullah, what is deficient in our intelligence and religion? Is not the witness and evidence of two women equal to that of one man? Yes, Rasulullah. This is the deficiency in her intelligence. Isn't it true that a woman can neither pray nor fast during her menstrual period? Yes, that too is true. This is the deficiency in her religion. This hadith proves that Muhammad was just a 7th century Arab man with 7th century view of women. There's no divine at work guiding him. It's just his own thoughts, his own religion, nothing divine or supernatural about it.